One of the biggest strawberry growers in our area says it's close to deploying a fully automated strawberry harvesting robot. Yeah, Wish Farms in Plant City has been developing the robotic picker for years. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live in Plant City with a closer look at what this machine does. Yeah, and Eric, another question, what happens to all these people who pick these berries for work? You know, Josh, it's that very question of labor that actually inspired this. It turns out that there are fewer and fewer migrant workers coming into the United States every year to do this sort of berry picking work. And so farmers had to ask themselves what they would eventually do about a labor shortage. This, they believe, might be it. It's called the Harvest Crew, C-R-O-O. A fully automated strawberry picking robot that does the job of about six human workers. It will transform the industry. Gary Wishnatsky, who owns Wish Farms in Plant City, has been trying out the machine this season. We believe with a few small modifications, we're ready to become commercial. The harvest crew, 32 feet long and 18 feet wide, can harvest about 16 plants at a time. That's eight acres a day. It's taken years to develop, overcoming all sorts of challenges, like spotting the berries hidden under leaves, identifying ripe, pickable berries in about 15 milliseconds. At that point, the technology in the robot takes over to aggregate the leaves, expose the strawberries, it spins around, identifies the ripe strawberries, clicks, uh, calculates a target solution and then picks that strawberry. Of course, as farmers rely more on harvest crew, the question is, what happens to the human crew? Some people may look at this and say, oh, they're putting people out of work. <laughs> That's not the case. The, the domestic people aren't showing up anymore, but the ones that do show up, there's going to be jobs for them, and they're going to be better, high, higher paying jobs. The harvest crew, he says, was the answer to an inevitable labor shortage and will cost considerably less than the estimated $2 billion a year spent on human workers. If we don't solve this problem with automation, I really fear what the future is going to be for the strawberry industry in general and also for the availability and affordability of strawberries for consumers. The Harvest Crew will start picking strawberries here in Florida, and over the next couple of years, they'll start to transition into California as well. That's a big deal because 85% of the nation's strawberries are actually grown in California, 15% here in Florida. All right, Eric, thank you. But that 15% that definitely tastes a lot better. It's the best 15%. <laughs> it's the best 15%. Oh, yeah.